welcome back to another video on the Phoebe way my name is Phoebe and I am your plug for everything life in Germany studying in Germany living in Germany moving to Germany settling within Germany I'm your girl I'm your plug if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel please do join us on Facebook at the Phoebe way on the page the Phoebe way and the group the Phoebe way as well on Twitter and Instagram it's at the Phoebe way and most people send their questions on Instagram, the DMs as well. So if you don't want to send an email, you may as well um, send um, the DM as well on Instagram, also on Twitter. I'll answer those as well. I think currently I'm caught up with on all emails and all questions. So yes, I'm not always fast, but latest three, four days, I'll answer you. Okay. So yeah, join me on the other social media platforms as well. Today's video, as you might have already seen in the title, is about students' jobs, side jobs for students in Germany. So, so first, we'll talk about the legal aspects of this, the legal regulations about working here as a student, your limitations, and then we'll talk about the jobs that you can do, and then we'll talk about where to find those jobs, all right? So you should know as a student, you are limited to 100, 120 days. I'm talking about the students, like a foreign student actually. So this, this video is specifically for foreign students, not for German resident students. No, no, no. I'm talking about foreign students, people who have come from their home countries to study in Germany, purposely to study in Germany. So this is the people that this video is for. You can't work for more than 120 full working days in a year or 240 half working days in a year. So you are definitely restricted on how many um, days you can work. So you have to know that you cannot um, be freelancing or be self-employed if you are here to study, okay? So since you're a student, you have to be employed by someone else. You cannot start your own business within this time or be doing freelancing or anything like that, no. It has to be a next self negativity guide, meaning a self a non self-employed um, activity or job. So keep that in mind as well. If you want to work more than that, you require a special permission from your Ausländerbehörde and the Bundesagentur für Arbeit. Okay, so if you want to do more than those days that I've talked about, you want to do the self-employed thing, talk to your Ausländerbehörde or your Bundesagentur für Arbeit. So if you're an international or foreign student and you are working as an academic assistant, usually they are not restricted um, to these days. But nevertheless, let your Ausländerbehörde know that this these are your working days and this is how much you work usually but as an academic assistant as an international student normally you are not restricted to those days so that could be the only exception that I'm aware of so what kind of jobs can you do yes you can work as an academic assistant as I just talked about so those are the heavy jobs so they work in the university or on campus you can also work outside campus so you can work as um, in your field, for example, if you're studying IT or any tech-related work, if you're studying anything that has to do with law, you can work within your field, but then you'll be limited in days that you can work, and you'll be having like a work student in Turkish guide, so that is like a, a side job for students. So that is the, the kind of rule that you should be looking for, work student in Turkish guide, that is meant for students, right? So you can work at trade fairs, so Messe, Messi, they kind of need ushers and people who are going to give the information that they want to give or people have to hand out the leaflets and brochures. So these are the kind of jobs that you can do. You can also work as a career, so Amazon. And um, so Amazon is always hiring different um, people like Hermes and all of that, they're always hiring. So you can look into that as well. You can be a bartender, a waiter, waitress. You can be a cashier, you can be filing official documents or something like secretarial jobs. These are also open. You can be a tutor, like you can be teaching other students. You can work in the media. So basically everywhere you can apply to for them to employ you, try them out. And now where do you find these jobs? Okay, these jobs for students. You can find them on your um, university website. So they usually have like a Stellenbörse or Stellenangebote where they have jobs that have been put there by the company. So the companies actually put their offers on the platforms of the universities looking for students to work with and what students would work to work for them. So most of the time, the language is not always a barrier because especially in tech related jobs, 
they're a bit flexible, a bit more flexible. And once they know that you are ready to learn the language, it's a bit different for student jobs. But as I always say, if you have the language, it's always definitely a plus, okay? Especially with my job as a waitress, as a bartender. So once you need communication, you usually would need the language as well. So I always say try as much as possible to learn the language. Now, you can find the jobs on the university websites. They have the platforms for that. And don't restrict yourself to your own university. Also check other universities. So I'm Tubingen, usually I, I should be checking in Tubingen, but I check in Stuttgart as well because most of the companies, more of the companies will be in Stuttgart and not in Tubingen or around Tubingen. Tübingen has other nice cities as well around like Reutlingen, Metzingen, yes, but check the other cities as well, check the other universities around you as well, just where you can, you know, get to faster and easier, yeah. Also go to the university career centers, so I think every university has this career day, take that day seriously, go there and meet the companies because at that time you can start as an, as, as an intern and then you, you, you have a part-time job there as a student and then you're actually stuck in the company. So it's actually a stepping stone for you as well. It's time for you to plan your future, your career as well. So take those career centers and career um, fairs and everything, take them seriously. Go there and check those out. Usually they're at the beginning of the semester, somewhere October, November. Check those out. Check, check, check those career messages and career messages, career uh, trade fair, I mean career fair, not trade fair, but you know what I'm saying, those centers and sometimes they, are, they have them open, they have, actually have offices for that as well, if your university is big or they, they, are, they have, um, they are dedicated to that, they also have an office for that as well, so check that out too. Yes, luggage pool, luggage pool, luggage pool. As I told you the last time, Luggage Pool is here to offer you solutions to your logistics problem. And if you want to help Luggage Pool do that, you should sign up as a driver. If you have a legit, a legit and valid driver's license in Germany, you should sign up if you have a car that has space and that, we, of course, it works for you to earn money on the side if you keep traveling or if you're always traveling. Do that. So it doesn't have to always. It doesn't always have to be a big car, but if you have space in your luggage, for example, you can also um, sign up and also earn money on the side. So that is the other side of luggage pool. You earning money, and the other side is somebody find a solution to the logistic problem. So if you're interested, just check the link in the description box down below. It is the very first link, okay? The very very first link. Check the link in the description box down below, and sign up. And upon your first transaction, you get five euros off. If that isn't good, I don't know what else is. So check out Luggage Pool and let me know how it went for you. Online job portals. I've shared so many from Indeed, Stepstone. Um, I, I don't even remember all of them, but I'm just going to list them somewhere right here for you to check them out. Check out the career um, portals or job portals online. And another thing is the newspapers. Yes, yes, there are real gems in those. So check out newspapers and um, also talk to other people, talk to fellow students, talk to people who are also at the university who you already know are working, talk to them as well. Don't just fixate on one side, of just on university or anything, just try as many arenas as, or avenues as possible. Now you ask yourself, is working the job as a student enough to carry me through, you know? The minimum wage is 9 euros 60 currently, as at November 2020, it's 9 euros 60 per hour. So if you work eight hours or 20 hours in a week, all right, if you do just two hours, I mean two working days in um, every week, that is times um, 56, it's like 100 and 112 days. So you can actually even work more than that. If you're working, let's say 80 hours in a month, yeah, 18 hours in a month or 20 hours a week, 80 hours a month times 9 euros 6, 60. Just calculate how much that would be. You just have to know how to budget and cut your costs according to your your, your budget. And also, um, you also have to bear in mind that you have to be paying tax. But because once you earn more than 4, 450, you have to be paying tax. It will actually be deducted from your um, income every month. And then at the end of the year, you do your tax um, declaration and then you get you, you highly possible that you get something back as well so that is not going to be an issue the issue is 
that you will know how many how many days you're allowed to work and you, you're not allowed to it's your your earnings is not limited so you can take a job that is paying 25 euros an hour you can take a job that is paying you 30 euros an hour you can take a job that is paying you 50 euros an hour that is not the issue the issue is that you have to know you can only work 120 days in the year and then not only that um the social contributions so pension um, contributions and all that you also have to pay those as well so keep that in mind too and yeah i think basically that is that is it about working in germany as a student that is basically everything if you have any other questions please let me know yes if you have any other questions please let me know if you have any needs um anything that bothers you as a student as well we have a, a group um the phoebe way group on facebook where you can post anonymously or you can just send it to me and we'll all discuss it and share ideas on how you can move forward so that is basically it guys wishing you a pleasant week ahead and as the year is about to end i pray that you stay protected i pray that you um achieve all that you wish to achieve work hard I mean, it's a few days left in the year, but keep pushing, keep going, and Ebefa, every year, it will happen, it will start, okay? So, see you same time next Sunday. Adi.